What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is pre-SummerSlam edition. <laughs> Alright guys, so today's video is another WWE action figure set up for you guys. And I was going to do actual SummerSlam, but I feel like we're not quite there yet. So I'll probably do another one for SummerSlam. But here we have a pre-SummerSlam edition. So this is not the event itself because there's so many more matches that could be added to the card. So this is just pre-SummerSlam. You know, it's right around the corner. Cannot wait for it. It should be called Summer Scam as JD from NY calls it. Because uh, I'm not that hyped for it, guys. I just feel like we're getting a lot of matches that we've seen. And... And um, I don't know. I'm just not very hyped for it. Hopefully, I am, you know, wrong about the pay-per-view. I hope they prove me wrong. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into this awesome action figure setup. So I guess we can start off on the corner right here, guys. Outside the MDT General Manager's office, we have the bar right here. You know the bar is taking on the New Day on the next episode of SmackDown Live. The winners will go on to fight the Bludgeon Brothers at SummerSlam for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Since the bar, you know, haven't really been on TV for months and the New Day has seen their day, obviously. They've been multiple-time champions, longest-reigning tag champions of all time. I hope the Bar do seal that victory and go on to fight the Bludgeon Brothers and win. I want to see the Bar continue to have some success, and I hope they beat the New Day and they go on to fight the Bludgeon Brothers. So, you know, they're over here talking about, you know, what they can do in order to make that happen. Just beyond that, we do have the Charismatic Enigma. Not very charismatic right now, guys. He is uh, over there on the doctor's table in the medical equipment area because, you know, he, he got be he's been getting slammed by Randy Orton every single week. Randy Orton has just had his way with Jeff Hardy, beat the piss out of him, you know, uh, yanked his ears off and all that good jazz. So he is just over there trying to rest up for their match going into SummerSlam. I think that we will end up having a triple threat United States Championship match between Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Jeff Hardy. What a great matchup. That seems like a fantasy match, so I think that'll be great. But Jeff Hardy over there trying to heal himself up. Here in the middle of the setup, we got a lot of stuff going on right here, guys. We got the big dog Roman Reigns, the monster in the bank, Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar all getting into it right here. You can see Braun Strowman getting held back by Heath. Slater and Bobby Roode. We got Bo Dallas, the one half of the B team and Raw Tag Team Champions holding back the Universal Champ Brock Lesnar. Of course, he would blow through Bo Dallas, but I didn't have enough jobbers. Uh, right through here, we have Curtis Axel trying to guard back Roman Reigns. So they're all three just fighting right there, guys, and I think that, you know, Braun Strowman saying, the moment that I get a chance to cash in my monster in the bank or money in the bank briefcase, I'm going to capture that Universal Championship. And Brock Lesnar's like, bring it, bro. You, you suck. You ain't got nothing on me. And then, of course, Roman Reigns is like, guys, what about me? You know, I'm here too. So uh, that's what's going on right here in the middle. Speaking of which, Cedric Alexander, the Cruiserweight Champion, he has a match with Drew Gulak at SummerSlam, and he's like, gosh darn, bro, why the hell did I come over here? Take me back to 205 Live. So that's what he's doing. He's checking out the madness going on over there. Right here, we have Becky Lynch talking to Charlotte. You know, they are both in a triple threat match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. And Becky Lynch is like, Charlotte, why the hell you got to come back right here and steal my thunder? I've been having multiple wins, multiple weeks in a row. I got all the momentum in the world, and then you just come and vacuum it and just suck it right out and take my opportunity. You don't even deserve to be in the match. You've been gone for months. Why are you in this matchup? I deserve this. So hopefully Becky Lynch does take care of business and beat uh, Charlotte and Carmella when it comes down to to it. Right here we have Shinsuke Nakamura and he's checking out the monitor. Don't really know why, but you know, he ain't got nothing going on. He's just sort of focusing on his US title, just kind of chilling. And if you see way back in the back, you will see Randy Orton eyeing the uh, artist or the, the rock star, the, the Shinsuke Nakamura right here. So he's got his eyes on him all the way across the arena. If we go to the middle right here, guys, we do have the WWE Champion, the freaking big man on campus. We have AJ Styles with his house that AJ Styles built t-shirt on. WWE Championship over his shoulder. Big man on campus. You know what I'm saying. He's walking around strutting his stuff. Just about nearing 300 days as WWE Champion. Hope he defeats Samoa Joe. I love Samoa Joe. But uh, I just think that he needs to continue this reign of dominance. And I think that's what he's expressing right here, guys. Just walking around. You know, nobody's messing with AJ Styles. Over here, we have the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss, hiding from Ronda Rousey. Because she knows that uh, come SummerSlam, there's no way she's going to still be champion, guys. Ronda Rousey needs to come in there, beat the hell out of Alexa Bliss, take her championship, and move the freak on. So that's what we got going on right there with Alexa hiding in the corner. 
if we come across the hallway, you will see Finn Balor, and I think this is what's going to happen, guys. He is going to channel the demon. He's going to, you know what I'm saying? We saw him lose to Baron Corbin in a match, and very dumb that they're going to fight at SummerSlam. This is just what I see happening. I think that Finn Balor is going to summon the demon. That's what he's doing right here. He's summoning the demon for SummerSlam. He's going to go into SummerSlam, fight Constable Corbin, and that's how they're going to have 50-50 booking. Keep Baron looking strong by a loss to the Demon, and uh, I think that's what they're going to go with. So he's summoning the Demon over here. And if we go all the way over, we go through the general manager's office, that reminds me, we do have Trash Corbin over here with Kevin Owens and Kurt Angle talking about, you know, Kevin Owens is like, guys, what can I do? Give me an upper uh, hand against Braun Strowman. I want that Money in the Bank briefcase. Guys, I would personally love to see Kevin Owens steal the Money in the Bank briefcase from Braun Strowman in their match. That would make me ecstatic. So hopefully that happens, but you can see Trash Corbin not very enthused, saying he's not going to help Kevin anymore. Kurt Angle's in the same boat, guys. They're, they're not giving it to KO, even though KO deserves all the help in the world. If we come back to the middle here, you will see Bobby Lashley and Elias right here. Elias just strumming along, making a bad song, and just crapping all over Bobby Lashley's parade. And Bobby Lashley's not taking to that too much, guys. You can see his face. He looks pretty pissed off. So, yeah, he, he's playing that song, and that's what's happening right here in the middle. If we go over here, we do have Seth Rollins, and Seth is, you know, he's, he's trying to focus up for his Intercontinental Championship rematch with Dolph Ziggler. So he's just over there by himself focusing, got, trying to burn it down at SummerSlam. We already covered what Randy Orton was doing spying over there on Shinsuke Nakamura. Coming over here, we do have the Intercontinental Champion Drew Matt, or uh, Dolph Ziggler with Drew McIntyre, and they are, you know, just, just chilling and uh, walking into the locker room. So that is what they're doing over there. In the back here, we do have Samoa Joe just sort of chilling out. His butt's not even touching the seat if you want to get a good glimpse of that. So he's just back there chilling, doing his own thing. Samoa Joe trying to get focused for his first WWE Championship opportunity come SummerSlam against AJ Styles. And then to finish off our setup, guys, we just have the Bludgeon Brothers chilling in the back. You know, they're not worried about the bar. They're not worried about New Day. They're doing their own thing. And, you know, they're, they're just chilling in the back, just watching over the roster and uh, watching everybody else panic about SummerSlam. And they're just chilling. And I hope they lose those SmackDown Live Tag titles to the bar. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for this WWE figure setup pre-SummerSlam edition. Let me know down in the comment section below your favorite portion of the setup. I enjoy these a lot. They're really fun to make and set up and stuff, so I, got, I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. I think today is the day, guys. I think today is the day where I get my freaking new phone, and it's going to be excellent. and can finally get onto Instagram and uh, chat with you guys and just be up to date because I feel like I'm so lost without my phone like my god I can't get on there and chat and keep up with the channel and everything so I just have my computer and it's just not the same so I definitely am going to be happy to get my phone but uh, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos and I will see you guys in the next video thank you